for ages now. The Blue Army and the Red Army have been fighting for dominance. And ever since the introduction of Rising 3000, the Red Armies have been dominating on pretty much all battlefields. Productivity, content creation, budget, enterprise, mid-tier gaming, they were all in the grasp of the Red Army. With one exception, and that is high-end gaming. Where they came so close before, but still, just a tiny, tiny bit behind. But a new hope has appeared in the form of the Ryzen 3950X that promised to finally end the struggle in all gaming related battlefields. And spoiler alert, it didn't achieve that. But it was so close that made the rest of us essentially go, come on, you're so close, just pass them already, how hard can it be? But sadly, AMD has not passed Intel in, you know, top tier gaming performance yet, especially now that uh, Intel has launched a 99K, yes, so... F. But there's still plenty of reasons why you should celebrate the launch of the 3950X, because it is a groundbreaking and revolutionary CPU, and one of the most important ones we've seen in a while. Not only is it the product of the king, but it's also pushing the CPU market in a very interesting direction where, you know, just a few years ago, 8 cores was established as like the good amount for a gaming PC and in pretty much any consumer grade PC. Now, Ryzen is just going, what's the, not 8 cores? Who, who needs 8 cores anymore? Let's go with, you know, 12 cores and let's go with 16 cores on our consumer slash prosumer lineup of Ryzen. And then for our real prosumer and enterprise, let's go with, you know, I don't know, 24, 32 cores? How about 64 cores on a top tier server enterprise level? Because why not? So in the next few years, we can definitely expect, you know, how many cores there are in the system to definitely change because the conventions have already been changing so fast with AMD really leading charge on what the good amount of cores should be. And now that's going to be changing even more because you have 16 cores in AM4. Like, well done AMD. And another reason is gaming. Now, again, it just falls so, so short of beating Intel and the 9900K and KS variant. And it just doesn't reach there. But that doesn't matter because even though the 1350X is way more expensive than those, seeing how, you know, it's a 16 core CPU, which is mainly used for things like content creation and any kind of serious workloads you may have for it. But for people who have like barely any budget limitations for gaming, Intel has always been a great choice. However, they extremely suffered if that person wanted to do anything other than games, say, you know, even just stream or edit and just throw the footage up on YouTube of any games they play. But now AMD has achieved something that's almost like a perfect system because they may not have the same performance or better performance than Intel. However, their CPUs, the, the difference is small enough that it really doesn't matter too much in the grand scale of things and for the people who do want to edit or stream or whatever else it's now way more viable to go for 3900x or 3950x because they have the extra performance for streaming and editing while they don't have to suffer having better better game performance and worse streaming recording editing performance that will come with intel but those are just some of my thoughts it doesn't technically launch for like another three days, but like all the reviews are out already, everyone's loving it, and for good reason. So let me know exactly what do you think is next for AMD, what is next for Intel, and when do you think AMD will finally snatch that final victory in gaming from Intel. I'm really cu curious to see what you think. Also, I'd love to thank my Patreon Barry Yule. Thank you ever so, so much for supporting the channel. Also, I have a Discord if you want to you know, talk to me and other people if you like love hardware. It's down in the video description below. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in where I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.